They need a lot of care. They need a lot of love. They need a lot of time. So please be a responsible guinea pig parent. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about something that um, I should have a long time ago. Maybe a lot of you love guinea pigs, but you haven't adopted guinea pigs yet. I want to remind everyone to adopt and don't shop. Instead of going to the pet store, if there's a rescue center or guinea pig specific rescue center, any one of those that has foster guinea pigs, then please go try to adopt from them. Not only help their cause, but also you can get healthier guinea pigs in many cases from those adoption centers. So uh, let's get into today's topic, things to know before adopting guinea pigs. First thing to know is they're herd animals, they're social animals. That's why a lot of the guinea pig experts will recommend that you adopt two or more guinea pigs at once. Of course, there are some exceptions, especially when it comes to boars. Boars meaning male guinea pigs. Some boars are very territorial and they don't really get along with other boars. Sometimes they're kind of best to be left alone. Uh, in many cases still, given that you have really big enough cage, um, many guinea pigs, even if they're territorial, if the cage is big enough or if they're you know, open to free roaming in the house and they will eventually become less territorial and become a best friend with another guinea pig. So that's my uh, first tip. Try to adopt two or more guinea pigs at once and try to adopt them in same sex. Female, female or male, male. Never mix different sex. Second thing that I wanted to talk about is guinea pigs will be extremely scared of you. If you compare the size of human to guinea pigs, like from guinea pigs point of view, we're like Godzilla, we're like monsters in the movie. So they will be scared of you because they don't know you. And because they're prey animals, they have instinct to always hide and they are supposed to be scared of other bigger animals in order to protect themselves. So please understand that and it might take as little as like a couple hours, but in many cases, it'll take a couple weeks, two, three weeks, and many other cases, it'll take a couple months before they fully trust you. So be patient when you adopt your guinea pig. When it comes to diet for these guinea pigs, make sure you're prepared beforehand. Guinea pig's main diet is hay. The most popular hay that people provide is Timothy hay and the second most popular arguably it would be orchard hay. Guinea pigs need to be provided clean hay without other weird additives like other fruits and things like that so make sure you do that and then it has to be an abundant amount. It's going to be different cats and dogs you give food like portion it for every meal. For guinea pigs they need to have these hay always available always abundant amount so they can pick up what they want and still have a lot of it. Be sure to check out guineadad.com to shop more of our merch. We have tote bags, stickers, pins, and some t-shirts left. Shop today. So try to give a hay that is clean, uh, that's very important and it's pretty easy to tell whether a hay is clean or not but you won't be able to tell by visual, like visually. If some hay causes a lot of coughing in you or the guinea pig then it's probably not the best hay. Hay will provide fiber which is arguably one of the most important for guinea pigs and you also need to provide vegetables. Vegetables will provide vitamin C and other micronutrients that's necessary. Guinea pigs don't provide their own vitamins in their body so they need to have those supplemented, most preferably through vegetables. I mentioned that before adoption, you have to look into what they eat, hay, and some daily vegetables. But more important than that, you need the right cage size. According to Humane Society, if I were to talk about in CNC cage grid, um, oh, in case you don't know what CNC cage grid is, it's pretty easy to search. You know, just C, C like letter C. CNC grid for guinea pigs or CNC cage for guinea pigs. It should be pretty easy to find what, what it is. In terms of cage size, according to Humane Society, minimum for one or two guinea pigs is two by three CNC cage. And that's the, really the minimum. That's usually okay if you're adopting baby guinea pig. In my opinion, it's okay. As long as you give enough floor time. But as the guinea pig grows, they will need 
bigger space. So by the time your guinea pig reaches, for example, six months, six months old, they will most likely need two by four or bigger. And by one year, probably still two by four or bigger, but they might need even more space if they're male boars. And in regards to floor time, guinea pigs are not supposed to be a caged animal, right? I mean, they are domesticated, but if you go to their ancestors, they're supposed to forage the grass, uh, maybe some flowers, whatever grows on the ground. And they, you know, walk a lot before they hide from the predators. So they do need some free time. Make sure you open up the cage, let them freely roam around in a safe area, maybe. 30 minutes to an hour every day if you already don't free roam your guinea pigs like me. Here's a tip when you're trying to buy products for guinea pigs. I started this company, I started Guinea Dad because when I go to the pet stores and when I look at products that are marketed toward guinea pigs online, I find that a lot of them are actually not made for guinea pigs. A lot of them are made for like maybe rabbits. A lot of them are made for hamsters. These companies, many of the, not all of them of course, there are a lot of good companies out there, but some of the not so good companies, what they do is they create a product that's clearly made for hamsters and just to increase the sales they will market it toward other animals they know that it's not the best for those animals but they do it anyway if you always go to a pet store or like big marketplaces online you have to do a lot of research to know that this product is good for guinea pigs or not the best way to do it is talk to your exotic vet also make sure the vet that you're going to exotic vet that you're going to knows well about guinea pigs because some exotic pets have more experience with guinea pigs than some others. So obviously someone with more experience might be able to help you better. It's also very important to have regular health checks. So in some places they will say every six months and some places they will say every one year. But I think that kind of changes during the lifetime of the guinea pig and usually at the minimum you need to go to a vet every six months when you have a young guinea pig like let's say before one year old and after that one year once the health is stabilized and you feel that guinea pig is doing really well then it's okay to go checked up like maybe once a year do expect that it's not going to be cheap before you adopt make sure you can afford it too guinea pigs are not the cheapest animal if, if that's what you think then you shouldn't adopt guinea pigs they need a lot of care they need a lot of love, they need a lot of time. So please be a responsible guinea pig parent and make sure you do all this research, what's required of you, and then go ahead and adopt guinea pigs. If you want to learn more about guinea pig essential, make sure you check out our other videos. One of the best videos to check out as a guinea pig beginner would be um, starter kit video. And we also have other um, educational videos. Some of them might be more detailed than others, but you know, go check it out. Research is never enough, so it's good to do a lot of learning. So this, these are things that I would recommend to anyone who's considering adopting guinea pigs. Thank you for watching, and again, everyone, adopt and don't shop. Go to your local rescue centers or local guinea pig rescue centers to adopt guinea pigs. Thank you for listening. Bye.